Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been away for a little while and I'm so sorry about that. Uh, as you guys know, I had knee surgery, but I am doing a lot better and I'm starting to feel like myself again. So I cannot wait to get back into a routine because I've missed you guys so, so much. So today we are doing a review and swatches of the new Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet Palette. Now when I first saw this palette, it had my heart like, it was beautiful. The packaging, oh my God, the packaging is absolutely stunning. Um, but we have a lot to cover and unfortunately, this one kind of broke my heart. So if you guys wanna find out why, then uh, just keep watching. All right, so before we get into all the details, I'm gonna go ahead and start with swatches. So I will be right back. Okay, so these are your swatches. Now when I was first trying to decide what look I wanted to do, oh, FII, I am not wearing this palette on my eyes today. I'm wearing the ABH Riviera palette. Um, anyways, when I first did my swatches to try and figure out what kind of look I wanted to do, they actually did not swatch this good. They were really, really light and I had to go over them probably about two, three times. Um, but as I have played with it more, the swatches actually look a whole lot better uh, than when I first swatch it. So, um, but swatches don't really have anything to do with the eye look. It's just kind of, it can tell you that they can blend well. If you watch Jen Loves Reviews, she actually has a very interesting uh, video about swatches. So if you want to check that video out, I will leave that link down below. Um, she kind of goes into why they can be important, what they can tell you, and how to kind of assess what a, a shadow is going to look like on your eye from a swatch. So I found that very, very interesting. I've always really enjoyed swatches. Um, so I'll leave that there. Now, I did try to create a look with this palette for this video and I just was so frustrated I could not get anything to work um, so let's go over these shades really quickly so um, I honestly believe that these first four shades right here are really really pretty and really nice um, the trippin shade is actually what I used to set my eye and it worked very very nicely uh, I went into mine slip for my crease and I actually really enjoyed this color um, this day's color I think is absolutely stunning. It's definitely one of my favorites, even though this is supposed to be a purple palette. Um, I just love the shimmer color. I went in to optimize for my crease because this is really the only purple matte shade. Um, so obviously I wanted to put it in my crease. I thought it would pair really, really nicely with mine slip, but I could not get this shade to show up at all. I dug and I dug and I dug and I just could not get any kind of color payoff that I wanted so I actually kind of gave up and just moved on to the next color because it was so frustrating um, which is a shame because I think it's a pretty shade but it does not do the job. There's like no pigment at all and I, I can't even tell you I think I went in like five or six different times and I still could not get the color payoff that I wanted. Um, so then I decided to go in with Cyberpunk. Now I first went in with a dry brush to see what it would do. It, obviously it didn't work either. Then I went in with a wet brush and I still could not get the pigment that I wanted. After about five or six different dips, I kind of moved on to the next. Like once again, I was like, can I just continue working into the next shade and see if maybe eventually the look will come together? <laughs> it just got worse and worse. Um, so I went in to a purple dust. I thought this would be kind of a dark, it's supposed to be like a dark shimmer shade, um, but it didn't really work out that way. You see that right there? It's really, really pretty on the finger. But when I was blending it on the outer corner, it did kind of come off a little bit more matte for me, uh, which isn't a, a deal breaker, but 
um, <laughs> it was a messy shade. Let's just say that. Yeah, I do have like little demos going on right here so you can kind of see what was going on. Uh, now I did place a little bit of the euphoric over the cyberpunk and it kind of brought a little bit of pigment to it. But when I went in with a brush with a little bit of the, um, the mind slip to try and blend out my crease, it went away. <laughs> it like completely disappeared on me and I just scrapped it. At that point, I was just so frustrated. I didn't want to work with anything else. And uh, yeah, um, bottom line, just from doing that one look and playing with that many colors and being frustrated so much where I'm having to dip into five to six times, I'm already done with this palette. And that is so sad for me to say because I was looking forward to this. I am a big Urban Decay fan. Like I use their primer potion all the time. I have their Naked Cherry palette. Love it. I have their Naked Honey love it. I have the Naked Heat and I love that as well. So I thought that this would definitely fit right in with my collection. I love purples and I am sad to say that I was completely disappointed. This is a total miss. Not worth the money. Like I'm definitely going to have to return this. I was looking up return policies on Sephora and luckily I'm still able to do it. Otherwise I would be out money because there's no way I would want to use this palette again. Um, because it was that much of a disappointment and, and so hard to work with. Like even I think an expert uh, with makeup would find this difficult to work with. Um, so it wouldn't be just me in my personal opinion. But as always, they killed it with the packaging. I'm a little sad that this palette kind of sucks so bad because the packaging alone is just freaking gorgeous. Like that little speck of blue and like the, God, the galaxy and the shimmer, it's just, oh, so gorgeous. But it will be going back. I cannot recommend this. Um, so yeah, sorry guys. This one is definitely a miss. All right, but I do not want to leave this video on a sad note. So if you guys go to my community tabs page, I do have like a poll on there right now. Um, I have been wanting to do a giveaway for a little while uh, before this whole crazy COVID mess has been going on. And obviously it wasn't the right time. However, um, you know, it's been a little while. Things are starting to open back up, at least spe specifically here in Georgia. And I kind of want to, you know, put some positivity in the world and do a giveaway. So uh, I have a poll on my um, community tab that says you would either feel really comfortable with me doing the giveaway. Um, of course, everything will be in its packaging. You can sanitize however you see fit. Uh, or maybe you think I should wait a little bit longer. I would love to know what you guys think. Do I go ahead and do the giveaway? Do I wait a little bit? It. I'm just a little bit confused and I would love to have your opinion on that so um, once I get all the results in I will make my decision on Sunday and I will uh, mention next week what is going to happen with that so make sure you guys stay tuned subscribe tune into the next video and uh, yeah I will see you guys next time bye